One of them wants to have kids. She'll never have kids. The other one will never breastfeed her children. They'll never be the same because they had that done to them when they were teenagers. Mm. So no, when a young person shows up and says, my gender what? doesn't match my biological sex, they're asking for help. They, no, no, they happened to them when one girl was 13 when it happened to her. She's in her 20s now and regrets it. What's going on, y'all? We are now into 2024. So with that being said, I'd like to wish y'all a happy new year. Thank you for coming to my channel. My name is Wally, and you are now tuning to PBH TV. Yo, we back with some more Vivek Ramaswamy. You already know right now he's turning up the airwaves. He's on every media platform. This man's hustle is impeccable. But look, on another note, he's about to school a LGBT protester, all right? So you know how this go right now, right? Sit back and react with your boy. Let's see how this play out. I'm gonna sit across the table from Xi Jinping. Give me the hard questions. LGBTQ. What's up? I actually didn't. Huh? LGBTQ. Yep, what about it? Yeah, you just said there was nothing about transgender. Yeah, so I, how about this? I give you the mic, and we hear what you have to say. And then I'm going to answer you, and you'll hear what I have to say, what everybody else here has to say. Does that sound like a good deal? I don't need the mic. Yes. I can speak louder. Well, stand up, tell me your name, and, and, and state your question. Why is she so upset? Why she got so much aggression, right? That's the real question. Okay. In this town, yeah. LGBTQ is a serious situation in this world today. There are children that get bullied because they are gay, they are lesbian, they are transgender. And there's kids who get bullied for way more reasons than that, too. That is not the scapegoat so we're not gonna use that stop trying to use that as the catalyst for everything word because as we see it nowadays some kids get bullied just for being different in general it has nothing to do with gender or, or pronouns or anything like that it could be they like to just play with certain toys or something and people tease them you understand what i'm saying so let's 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 not take it there when it comes to that there's so many reasons why they get bullied it's not right but that is not the only reason. I don't need that. Okay, you're welcome to have it if you want. I don't need it. You get to ask your question, but after that, you're going to hear me give my answer. So I'll let you finish. Oh. What is your what is your stance? She doesn't even know how to articulate herself correctly. So, with that being said, you have no fight. You have no argument. What is even your question? You get you know I me? Mean? Like, you feel me? What's her question? Make it make sense for us. LGBTQ. Good. Thank you for your question. I'm going to answer it. I'm going to go into a level of depth that I don't usually go into on a campaign trail, but I'm going to do it because you asked the question and you deserve an answer. LGBTQIA, there's so many letters, they've just added a plus at the end. That's where we are now. What's going on? <laughs> So the same movement, because if we're going to call that one thing, let's, let's play it fair. The same movement that said that the sex of the person you're attracted to is hardwired on the day you're born. That was the premise of the gay rights movement, for it to count as a civil right. That movement is now saying that your own biological sex is totally fluid over the course of your life. Hypocrite. You can't believe both those things. Well, I think I'm going to get to a deeper say. It's, that's where I was about a year or two ago, but I think there's something deeper going on. I'll tell you <laughs> what it is. like that. So the same movement, and by the way, let's think about the feminist, the women's rights movement in this country, which said there's many ways to be a woman. You can have long hair, short hair. You can have, wear a skirt. You can wear jeans. Now says that, oh, if actually you want to behave a certain way, that means you're a man. So I think that the hypocrisies go all the way down, and I'll tell you what's going on. You can't believe both of those things at the same time at all you really can't but for some reason a lot of people are believing that at the same time but they don't think for themselves they don't realize how they how, like how foolish sometimes it look you get me if you're operating according to principles of sheer logic 
But you can if you're adopting a faith, a cult-like belief system. So this is controversial for me to say, but I'm going to tell you what I think. I believe that transgenderism specifically is a mental health disorder. All right, let's get this show started! <laughs> I believe it's a mental health condition. Okay. I'll, well, I, no, 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 we're going to finish this. This is good. I want. We have to have open conversation in this country. The funny thing is I don't see not one trans there, but she's not trans herself. So what was she, what was she boohooing about, right? But I don't think the not compassionate thing to do. Health disorder. Well, it's how they feel. Well, let me, let me, let me, if I'm going to give you a chance to respond if you'd like, feel? but no, we can't have an open see. debate in this country if we're not able to state our views. That's how they feel. This is they, that's how they feel. And you know what? I'll tell you a story. And you deserve to hear this. I met two young women <laughs> in this race. About six months ago. Their names were Chloe and Katie. Two young women. They're in their 20s now. Both of them had their breasts cut off. One of them had her uterus removed. Okay. They're in their 20s. They regret that decision. Mm. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about that. Why is it that we see no testimonials, no one talking about the negative side of that? We only get sold what they want us to buy. Never were we supposed to see. It's never transparent. You understand? And that right there, you got to question yourself. But like I told you, people don't think for themselves anymore. One of them wants to have kids. She'll never have kids. The other one will never breastfeed her children. They'll never be the same because they had that done to them when they were teenagers. Mm. So no, when a young person shows up and says, my gender what? doesn't match my biological sex, they're asking for help. But you just said 20. That's not they, they happened to them when one girl was 13 when it happened to her. She's in her 20s now and regrets it. This is what's wrong in this country. We will look back at this and say this was barbaric that we allowed this to happen in this country. That is not compassion. Word. That is cruelty. Facts. And so I don't think the right thing to do is, I'm not gonna villainize those people. You don't villainize people who are going through suffering, but you have to be willing to say, when a kid shows up and says, my gender doesn't match my biological sex, you have to be able to say, what else is going wrong at home? What else might be hmm. going wrong at school? Get to the bottom of what's going on. Help Word. that person with compassion, with dignity. You see her shaking her head saying no? Why not? My view is this. If you're an adult, you're free to live your life however you want as long as you're not hurting somebody else. If you're a man, you can dress how you want. If you're a woman, you can dress how you want. Identify how you want. We're a free country and I'm not going to stop you. But kids are not the same as adults. And we have to protect our children. That is a fact, yo. Kids are not the same as adults. And the more y'all keep pitching that, it seems a little cringe, you get me? And, and, and I'm gonna go further than that. We can't change the way that women and men compete in sports. We can't do that. We can allow you to live your life the way you want to. But we can't change the way that we operate in our own life. And I'll, I'm gonna finish this thought and then you get to respond. Because I think this is good. We don't do this enough. Open debate. I love this. I think what we've had in our country before is a tyranny of the majority, and that's what we worry about. But right now, we don't have a tyranny of the majority. What we have in this country right now is a tyranny of the minority. Huh. That's what we have right now, a tyranny of the fringe minority that tells you to shut up, sit down, and do as you're told. No, we have to stand for what is true. And so I promise to you, you will have a chance to respond and keep my promise. You tell me. This is good. We don't do this enough in our country anymore. Open conversation. Tell me. I was a child when I knew that I was gay. Not the fact that I wanted to change my gender, but living here in this town. The reason why you didn't want to change your gender because they didn't pitch that back then. You see, today that's the new thing that, you know, if you pay attention, it's being sold everywhere you go. So now the young kids coming up, they're buying into that, you know. So had that happened before, yeah, you would have been trying to change your gender. I knew that I wanted, that I was a lesbian, that I was attracted to females. And you know what's happening? 
And when did you go? When was that? In the 90s? Oh, oh no. Uh, let's see. I came out when I was 19. So I'm going to born in 1983. So I think where we are now, we're in the similar generation. I think things today aren't what they were. I grew up in Ohio in the 1990s and we're in a different place today. And I think this is a, this could be a very productive conversation. I don't get to do this in the campaign trail often where we all are in our own echo chambers and silos. So it's good for us to talk to each other. I like that. Something funny's happened, I think, in the last few years in this country with the civil rights movement. It's right when we get to closest to the promised land of true racial equality that we then start obsessing over systemic racism. It's right when we get to the point in our national history where whoever you are, you can marry who you want, where you want, <laughs> if you want, whatever gender they are, that we start then obsessing over the sexual identity revolution. You, you know what's actually funny right now is many people who are lesbian or gay are being taught to say that, hey, if you're a woman attracted to a woman, you're not a woman, you're a man. So that's the transgender movement, the L and the G, first of all, don't have that much to do with each other. The G and the T don't have as much to do with each other. But we're clubbing all of these things up to create more division. Word. I hate the term persons of color. You want to know why? I see it like this. We all one race. It's the human race. All, this, all these things right now going on is a big distraction and taking us away from what we're supposed to be paying attention to. You take a hundred different cultures combine them into one thing that's designed to be opposed to this other thing we call white. And so the way I view this is, you are free to live your life the way you wish to, as long as you don't hurt anybody else in return. Hmm. And I'm free to do the same thing too. Facts. But that doesn't mean we change the way men and women compete in sports. That doesn't mean we change oh, the no. way. Men and I don't think that no, just because you identify as a man doesn't mean that you're entitled to a trophy. You agree? That's Do you agree with me on that? That's you agree with me on that? I get you. I get you. You agree that's with different. me on that? All right. Because men different. shouldn't be swimming with women in women's yeah. sports competitions. Thank you. I appreciate that. That Cora's Light was speaking for her at first. Now she got back to reality. That's that's different. That's what I'm talking about, right? And so that's what I'm saying is it's not all the same thing, right? And so we got to respect people and treat them with dignity. Every one of us is different. But all I'll say is kids aren't the same as adults. And if we can agree on that, then I think we at least made some progress tonight. And we'll have a step forward. So thank you. I appreciate that. Another thing, too. Check it out like this, right? If you see a grown man playing with toys, like a grown man literally playing with toys the same way a child would, you would say he has some type of disorder or something is not connecting correctly. But however like how he's saying it's all right for us to see other things as normal when certain things shouldn't be as normal you get what i mean i'm not gonna go too much into detail because people will rip things up but if you understand what i'm saying go in the comments run it up flood it up if you like what you saw and you liking this content make sure you consider liking commenting and also subscribing to the channel it will only help this channel grow see you guys on the next one again happy new year's to all of y'all all right